So here's what my cookie banner looks like on my website. I made it a light color so it just kind of blends in a little more seamlessly with my color scheme and everything. But I'll show you exactly how to set this up with just like two clicks. And then if you want to customize it, we'll go through how to do that. So in Squarespace, you'll just go to settings, cookies and visitor data, and then just click the enable cookie banner check right here and you're done. So you can just leave it there if you want to. Um, when it originally comes on, it'll probably be black with white letters and um, you can choose whether to do that dark color scheme or you can choose to do the light color scheme. But just going from top to bottom, it'll have an automate, automated um, message right here that you can just, like a default message that you can use. Um, or you can type in your own and kind of add your own flair to it. Uh, so when you're typing in here, if you highlight any of these words, you can make them bold, italicized, underlined, or you can add a link. So what I did was uh, what's what you really should do legally is make your privacy policy very easily available because it gives your audience the information about what information you're collecting about them and what you're doing with that information. And so um, I linked to the privacy policy with this little link button here. And then scrolling down, so you can mine set to be a bar right now. Um, and then if you want to leave it like that, you can either put it on the top of your website or the bottom. Or the other option is to have it be a pop-up. And again, you can choose where you want that to be located um, on your website. So then you have the color scheme right here. And then this is the call to action. So what's going to need to happen for your website to collect cookies on whoever's visiting your site is they're going to need to somehow opt in. So that can either just be um, exiting out of the banner like so. It can be, oops, I lost my place. It can be clicking a link or it can be clicking a button. So if you do the link or the button option, then you can type in what you want that to say right here. Um, and then if you want to use the information that it's gathering to actually see like, how are people finding my website? Is it from Pinterest? Is it from Google? What's, what's actually working for me and what are they doing when they get here? Um, you will need to click enable activity log here at the bottom. If you don't want to mess with any of this and you don't really care about all of this information right now, then you just want to click disable Squarespace analytics cookies and make sure that you can go ahead and turn off the cookie banner too. So that is everything. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this and don't forget you can always customize things even further with CSS.